like I'm done. What's up, everybody? I'm Vincent Oshana. Thank you for tuning in to the Vincent Oshana Show. Uh, to my left, as always, on the ones and twos, we actually call them the control all deletes because she's on a computer. Give it up for the very lovely Kelly Ann Arnold. Everybody give her a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, today's guest, and guys, we don't, ha we don't get that many of them because there's not that many around, okay? Uh, this guy is an actor. Actually, he's a freaking phenomenal actor, which we're gonna talk about. He's a comedian. He's been on hit shows like King of Queens, Entourage. I actually saw a movie, Kelly. It was uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and all of a sudden I see this guy. I go, is that fucking Jimmy? And it was, and it was him. <laughs> he was in it. He was uh, one of the finalists on NBC's Last Comic Standings. His special, Zero Tolerance, went to number one last summer on iTunes. Uh, he's originally from Philadelphia. I got to find out if he's Italian or if he's just white because Philadelphia brings out the tough guy in you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause for the very funny, the very talented. Jimmy Schubert. Jimmy, what's up? Hey, buddy, how, how are you? How you doing? I'm doing well. Jimmy, you, I, w I was telling people uh, in the back today, we just said this story. Jimmy is one of the, Kelly, one of the funniest people. I didn't know who he was. I'm in a comedy club, and this girl's talking to me. And Jimmy, it's like, she's talking about, like, she's like, my father, he's not doing well. I haven't met him yet. I just hear a roar from the audience, from inside. <laughs> and she's like, my dad, I'm like, listen, he's probably going to die. I had to run inside. <laughs> Really? Just to hear this guy, Jimmy. Thank you for being here, bro. It's a pleasure. Hey, man. Good, good Do, to be here. Jimmy, are you, so, wait, so, where, how, are you living in Florida? Where would you? Well, you know, I'm going to tell people where I live, but yeah, I spent some time here. <laughs> you not, were you ever living in and LA? What street, what street are you living no, my on? Bad, my bad. Yeah, Jimmy, what <laughs> floor? On what building? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I'm all, you know me, I travel. I'm all over the place. You're all over but the yeah, place. I, I've been spent some time down here Got during you. the pandemic. And so I'm you know, going out to uh, Austin and I'm going to Las Vegas. I'm going to be at the uh, Stratosphere at the Los Angeles Comedy Club. And then. Uh, yeah, but I got a bunch of dates coming up. They go to jimmyshubert.com and check it out. But yeah. Jimmy, do, like, when I, Jimmy, when I say this, and you know, when comedians are like, I hate when people are like, this guy, he's the funniest. You're one of those guys, bro, where comedians come into the room to watch. That's when you know you're funny. Like, when a stripper's up there and other strippers are like, no, nah, no, nah, just leave me alone. I have to watch her on the pole. It's the same thing with you. <laughs> That's my analogy when it comes to real comedians. Because, Jimmy, yeah. they, don't make, they don't make them like you anymore because now it's... It's completely changed, but we're gonna we're, we're gonna definitely get into that. But Jimmy, I appreciate you being here. Thanks for we having have, me, guys. We're gonna talk about a lot of sh stuff from protesters to climate change people to trans because guys, we have to talk about trans because it's happening every single day. But uh, the first segment we're gonna go to, uh, which is one of my favorite segments, and it is called "What the Funk." <laughs> All right, guys, this is what we're gonna do, Jimmy. So Kelly found a bunch of clips. So did Maverick on the internet. Uh, uh, and we're gonna watch them, Jimmy. We're gonna judge them. We're gonna talk shit. Because we all do it by ourselves regardless. We're gonna do it as a group. Because nice. it's fun, because there's a bunch of assholes out there recording themselves doing ignorant shit, and I like to comment on it. So I wanna hear your two cents in. So Kelly, roll it! Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> what the f- <laughs> oh, like, just, like, Wait, like, dude, you, first of all, Jimmy, do you golf? I do. I do. Do, do you do shit like that? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Jim, like, Jimmy, I've been seeing more and more of these where you realize you can't drink and drive anywhere on this planet except golf courses. I play with golf oh, guys who actually enjoy playing the game of golf, you know? <laughs> they take it semi-seriously. Yeah. You know, these guys are out there, they're drunk by hole number three. <laughs> they're just doing it to get away from their wives. <laughs> they're destroying golf carts. <laughs> You know, it's like, that's not really, you know, golf's a gentleman's game. Yeah. It's a game where you keep score and you, yeah. you know, you're going to call yourself for the penalty. Yeah. You know, and these guys are out there just acting like <laughs> jackasses. Like assholes. <laughs> like assholes. Mind you, and you made a great point. This is a married man's favorite sport because it's the only sport that you're away from the wife and kids for four to five hours. Well, hey, you look get at get, Tiger Woods. And you get, yeah, and you get to get plastered. So that's, I mean, that's America's, that's America's sport. Go ahead, Kelly, next one. Oh, I love these. What is she doing? Oh, oh good. You know what? Like, poor face. what the hell? Wait, go back to that. What does she do? What the hell does she do? Watch. It's a, that's a medicine ball. Yeah. Bang. Oh. Right in the K call. Right in the K call. Broken nose, probably. Broken nose. Broken nose. And now, you know what? 
Uh, you, go ahead. Like, you don't just go from zero to 60. Obviously, the woman hasn't been in the gym in a while. You know, <laughs> don't just go picking up a 15-pound medicine ball and bouncing it into your cake hole. I mean, now, you, now she's got a, now she's got a three months on the bench now because she can't work out. Because I broke my nose. She's probably never going to come back to the gym. And that's, you know what she's going to say to her friends? I told you guys. I, I, tried. I tried. I tried. And even the, even the medicine balls are like, you should not be doing oh <laughs> God, Kelly, God. roll it. What the hell is that? I can't watch. No, wait a minute. That's not real. That's like a Lord of the Rings thing, right? Yeah, that's... that's no, like, dude, dude, there's no way. <laughs> those are real. There's no Jimmy, way. Jimmy, those are real feet. No, are they really? Jimmy, those are feet, bro. Oh. I can't. Can you imagine throwing out the first pitch with the... It just keeps going. <laughs> oh, bro, my. Does this guy eat, does this guy eat bananas with his feet? For God's sakes, look at those Jimmy, things. Jimmy, can you imagine going to a Phillies opener and the first pitch is somebody going... <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh my God, Kelly, keep going, because that actually got me nauseous. That's disgusting. I'd like to see the shoes he wears. Oh, yeah, me and me both. Oh, yeah, here we go. What is this asshole doing? What, well, what she's is, going to burn her ex-boyfriend's car. Oh, she's going to burn her friend's car? <gasps> no, it's her boyfriend's car. Oh, it's her boyfriend's car. And there go your eyelashes. There you go. Oh. And there you go. And there you go. Good and for the thing's her, burning. Though. Go back and get the gas there can. There you go. There That's God. Go. That's God. That's what you did. No, that's good gonna start for her. Apart. Good now, for someone's got to run video. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going, Kelly. Good job. Good job, idiot. Oh, here we go again with these assholes. Good, his face is broken. Oh. Good job, Dale. Good job, Dale. Show that again, Kelly, so I can see how stupid he looks. He just face Look, look, yeah, pop and wheel it, yeah. Oh. Good, good. Smash your head and your glasses. I think he's it's half of white people try to be cool. Teeth. Yeah, broken teeth. Good for him. Go ahead, go ahead, Kel. Good for him. Oh, my. Oh my what? Gosh. Is that your dog? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> good for him. Good. That's what you get for leaving him in there. You let me in a hot car. Yeah, you let, you let me in a hot car. Now, now, now I'm you, gonna come on the steering wheel. That's right. <laughs> you made me do it. You, you made me do it. That's you hilarious. left me in this hot car. I'm gonna come on the steering wheel. Go ahead. Go ahead, Cal. Oh! What? Why? Yeah. Dude, okay. You know he got stabbed. With oh that my, fence. yeah, but and, and here's he my. He got what? He got stabbed with the fence because it wasn't like a mate. The fence was suspect. It was one of the fences. I got, I got news for you, bro. He deserves whatever he gets. Hundred percent. You <laughs> jump off a perfectly good building into a tree with missing branches and you land on a fence. I think that's called Darwinism. Yes. I, I think uh, uh, he's probably not going to be able to procreate after that. And Jimmy, good for God. Him. Won't Thank be God. To Those are the moments where I'm like, you can't have kids. Good for you, you prick. Go ahead. Worse. Oh, oh yeah, that's the world's so prophetic nice. robber. Everybody, get down! Get down your money! It's got the money! What is he doing? Get down your money! He's in an Asian on the other side. Yeah! Where's the money? The guy's just like, uh, no, I can take your point. The guy's on the phone, Phil. Where's the money? Everybody, give me everything! <laughs> Where's the money? <laughs> I guess this is a new way to, if you're getting robbed, just ignore him. Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> bro, uh, bro, did he just leave, he Jimmy? That yo, Asians don't give a fuck. Well, Asians dude, first like, off, you didn't have a gun. You had a thing over your hand. Yeah. It looked like you might have had a gun. <laughs> a guy had no confidence. You might just go in and rob a place. I mean, yeah, shut up. Get out. Just of give here. me. Yeah, no whatever. Whatever. That's, if anybody ever got me comes to rob me, I'm just gonna pretend that they're not there. Yeah. And see if it works. That's <laughs> hilarious, dude. That's that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. That's amazing. Go ahead. How, do you, how do you think that guy's confidence is after? He's that? finished. <laughs> yeah. He's finished. He didn't. Even, did he make any money? He didn't make any money no. out of no, it. No, no, no. He no. follows the white lady outside, and he's like, "Do you have any cash?" Like, give me your cash. She's no. like, I don't, I don't have any cash. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. By the way, Kelly, I like your jacket. That, that shirt Thank is awesome. You. Go to Kelly's shirt. Hey, well, I, look, look at that. Can we see his hand? What exactly yeah, was what he trying to say? pass Kelly, off just, as a Kelly, just show it for a second, and then you can start. He has, like, a thing. purse or a bag over his yeah, hand. Yeah, he's got a bag over his hand. Oh, it's just his hand. It's just his hand. It's a purse. It's a purse. It's a purse. Oh. He's got a... See, it's a bag. Dude, that's funny. Nobody even speaks English. They don't like they don't speak English. That's the problem. That's the problem. Broken. Nobody speaks English. English. Like we don't understand. What do you? Look at that girl just looking at me. Oh, she is what? hilarious. Dude, it didn't even flinch. Dude, that is so brilliant. You know what that looks like? McQueen. <laughs> Those are McQueen that we had on the show last night. Oh time. my gosh, McQueen. All right, Kelly, you go to the next one. Out. That is, that's the most pathetic robber. They actually nailed that. Yeah. Next my, one? Yeah, next one. We got for it. What is this? It looks dangerous. Whatever it is. What's he doing? Fireworks. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, oh, I'm pro. My God. I'm pro any <laughs> fireworks blowing up in people's faces when they Chill. do shit like that. Let's Let's play play my that dog. again. What is, yo, what is he doing, Jimmy? I came in club from his ankle. I, like oh, a I took firework? Out, oh, okay. Good for him. But good. they put the second one in backwards. Good, good. <laughs> good for him. Good for him. I hope he doesn't have a face. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, July 3rd was the last day that <laughs> all, uh, people had all 10 fingers, you know? <laughs> people, love, yeah. people love to set off fireworks. I go, bro, I got news for you. That's, I wouldn't do that. I didn't even do that when I should have been doing that. Like, I would never, uh, like M80s, you know what I mean? M80s are like di they're little baby they're dynamites. Little, little baby dynamites. The guys would put them in a wrist rocket, light them with a cigar, and oh, launch them. <laughs> and launch them. And sometimes, I mean, there's fuses, depending on the fuses. Yeah, if it goes quick, who do you, you Hey, happy 4th of July. <laughs> happy 4th of July. And you know Jason Pierre Paul from New York Giants? We had one of the best seasons on the 4th of July. He fucking put M80 and lost three of his fingers. One of our uh, best linemen. Bro, you should see the, uh, have you ever seen the x-rays on July 5th? Of the people's the hands? People's hands, yeah. Kelly, can you Google that for after this? I want to see what. Yeah, uh, X-rays of people's hands after the 4th, <laughs> after the 4th of, July. of July. All right. Go ahead, Kelly. Speaking of fireworks. Look at this. At. Look, 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 look. Like, dude, that's like a. And you just lost your house. That's a fuck. That's a nice house. Well, it used to be. Yeah, it used to be. <laughs> Shoot, you that's... just had to go get some fireworks, didn't you? <laughs> Can we have anything nice? I mean, what an idiot! Like, like what are you I, doing, dude? What, I, like, how much did he have in the garage, Jimmy? That's like a like you're not. What are you? Are you having a show in the neighborhood? Jesus. Well, Christ. that's what happens. I saw a similar video where they were out front. And the guy had him in the back of the car, and yeah. the whole thing goes up. I mean, you know, this is better left to professionals. Yeah. A fireworks. Go to a fireworks demonstration where that's, there are professionals. And that's and, it. And, and 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 leave it to the professionals. Yeah. You know what I mean. You're not a professional. You know what I'm saying, Lefty? <laughs> yeah. Leave it to the professionals. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. Oh, I love it. This, this is the Fire Fourth of July edition. Oh. And he won't be. Uh... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he won't that. be. Re be oh, he won't be reproducing yeah. any longer. He yeah. won't be reproducing any longer. No, he won't. That actually makes me happy. Go ahead, Kel. Oh my God. Oh shit. Wait, what? That looks dangerous. Is that beer? Yeah. No, my God. He's drinking wow. that shit. Bro, I would drown. Is that it? Did it stop? I guess no, no, it keep, stopped, keep, yeah. keep going. Let's see. Oh, that's it. It stopped? Yeah. What the fuck? God. No, you got to. What the fuck? Exactly. Right? What is that? You got to. You pour the. He pour, beer and you just drink so it. So he right fills with. it. Think about Jimmy. If he doesn't, he drowns and he dies. I think this guy. Dude, mind you, Jimmy, he's like locked in. You see his neck? He's locked in there. Yeah, bro, it's like going scuba diving. Not a lot of margin for error. <laughs> Not a lot of margin Only for error. this one, it's like, bro, you have to drink or you're going to die. Bro, it's like going down in that sub. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know? You're damn right. By the way, I heard, did you hear about the sub thing where a they go? A million dollars between them, not a lick of sense. No. Oh, my God. You know, God. it was the Indian kid, it was the Indian guy, and his. And his son who won. They who had won their trade tables down. Yeah. They had their trade tables down. <laughs> And the that's tray tables did them in. I knew it. I knew there was a reason you have to put your tray table Dude, I, I, I mean, just like, what? don't people have any brains at no. all? No, I mean, Jimmy, I, like, and these are like, these are very educated people. It's like that woman that did the, uh, the, the, the Dylan Mulvaney yeah. uh, campaign. Yeah. That a year before the campaign, they were bragging, she's our diversity hire. She's yeah. a, you know, da, 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 she a and damn near. Ruined the company. Thank you. <laughs> Bravo. Thank Bravo. you. Thank I won't you. be flying, yeah. I won't be flying yeah. airlines. Well, I, Jimmy. Uh, I, I want the best pilot. I don't care what sex they are. I don't, I'm not flying with transgender pilots. All right? That's just... It's just <laughs> and, and, and Jimazzo, you know why you, 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 made, you made the comment of people are getting stupid. And You know, I think, you know at the airport, they used to just have the metal detectors. Now they have that thing that you walk in and, and it yeah. spins. I think that thing is pushing stupidity. In, like it's spraying us with something that makes you dumb as no, shit. No, uh, <laughs> that's the, called the television set. It's that's the TV. Spray, that's the oh, okay. TV set. I got you. It's just, it's just, it's just. If you watch it, it's, uh, it's like the first commercials for a drug. Yeah. The second commercials for a drug. If you had side effects from the first drug, you could yep. take this drug. Yeah. It'll take care of the side effects from the first drug. And then there's a third drug just in case you could take it. But the side effects are <laughs> anal leakage and some other stuff. I'd rather oh, be, the, you know. And then God. the th oh, fourth commercial is an attorney going, no. "Have you tried any of these three drugs? You may be <laughs> entitled to compensation." Yeah, I'm I mean, that's the world. Pants. That's the yeah, world we sure. live in now. We live in this litigious, like uh, it's just. Uh, 
ridiculous how dumb people have gotten over the course of the last 20 years. Uh, it's you know, getting, I, and it's getting, and guess what? It, it ain't getting any better. No, no, it's not. It really isn't. It's Kelly, not. how many more we got? Uh, I think just one more. Okay, let's play it. Let's play it. Oh, I, look, I would never, never, never. Oh. Oh. oh! There you go. What happened? And uh, that string. Oh, the string in the crotch? Yeah, string trying to the get old off. string and crotch. Another thing. guy who won't be reproducing any time Ever, soon. ever again. Uh, and speaking of, Jimmy, speaking of dumb and you talking about mm -hmm. drugs, uh, as everybody knows at home, and I'm, I know it was in the news, but not for a crazy long time, the Secret Service found cocaine in the White House by the West. I got news for you. If it was my cocaine, <laughs> it, they would have said it was Jimmy Schumer's cocaine. <laughs> you know, I, they, they're telling me there was no fingerprint on the bag of cocaine. No fingerprint on it. I think, but by telling me that you couldn't find out whose cocaine it was, you're telling me whose who's cocaine, cocaine it was. was because there's 20 cameras in every room in the White House. The like, most who's guarding? Who's guarding? Who's watching the cameras? The same guys that had Epstein's Epstein cell covered. <laughs> we got it. We got the cameras in Epstein's cell. Oh, oh, that's again. That's again. My God. All right, yo, no more of that. I don't want. I don't want that. That's that's throwing me off. Uh, <laughs> first of all, they didn't. Could not. They this week they concluded they don't know whose it is. No fingerprints. Close case. They asked the White House and they were like, no, we don't. We don't. We have no idea. Mind you, Jimmy, Kelly actually got us some footage because Kelly used to date her ex. Go ahead, what were you going to say? I was going to say, you know, Secret Service is a crack investigative agency. Oh, they're legit. Top of the line. Yeah. Top of the line. Oh, can't figure it out. It's very can't, secret. No, Ever since the Kennedy assassination. Got, they got all access to all oh. kinds. Can't figure it out. Very, they're very. They're not a stumper. <laughs> I bet you. And now, by the way, they're just saying it was a bag. I don't know if it was you a. You know. Was it a big bag? Was it a small? Was it an eight ball? Was it an ounce? And mind you, everybody knows, but Jimmy, we're not stupid. It was Hunter no, Biden. No, they, they think we are stupid. No, no, That's no, the they problem. Can, no, they, this is what's even scarier. They think that we're stupid, but we all know the fact is that they're in such in control. What are you going to do about it? What are you, you going to do? But Jimmy, this, this is actually pretty crazy. We actually got footage from the White House. Kelly used to date a Secret Service agent, and he low key sent her footage. Of the room that they found the cocaine, Kelly, can you please roll the roll it? Because I want I want people to see this shit. Gotcha. Show it. Look at this, Jimmy. Did he add the music, Kelly? Yeah. yeah. You hear it? Oh shit, that's Hunter. Oh, that's doing cocaine. Okay. <laughs> Oh. All right, White House conference room B. Oh. oh, well, he records everything. Obviously, he has a fucking camera. Look at that blow. That's a lot of blow. Oh, Look at that shit. Hilarious. <laughs> look, at, look, look at this. What the fuck? Wow. Wow, that's Secret Service right there. Look how good Secret Service is. Look at that. Can't, I mean, that's he's hiding well. He's hiding those, really. Those sunglasses, man. Holy shit. I think shit. they just get in the way. <laughs> this is unbelievable. When was it? On the 1st of July. Yep, that's right before they went to Camp David. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Did you see this, oh, Dodge? Oh, no. Oh, shit, look, he got the laptop. Oh, yeah. Look what he, he forgot. He forgot the cocaine. Mother. Wow. <laughs> Can you believe this shit, Jimmy? Can you believe that? Yeah, I would applaud to that. Like, okay, Jimmy, can you believe, okay, I know you can, because you've been around for a couple years. You're 35 years old. Uh, can you believe that we're at the point in, a, in our country that they're finding cocaine in the White House? I understand with Monica Lewinsky, they had, you know, sex and... Bill Clinton, but can you oh, like? I bet you if it was Trump's White House, you'd hear all about who's cocaine. Oh, what, was. what do you mean? <laughs> not only fingerprints, the time, the date, what kind of cocaine, the dealer, where they got it from, where it came yeah, through the border. So this is so this is the problem. It's you know I was talking to a friend of mine who lived in China for a few years, and yeah. uh, we was talking about the news, and he goes, "Oh, we don't." He goes, he goes, "I'm surprised anybody in America watches the news anymore." I said, what do you mean by that? He goes, oh, we figured out about 10 years ago that it's all propaganda, and so no one watches the news in China because it's all propaganda. Period. I mean, why would you do it? It's just a waste of time. Just, I mean, but you see, the, the hypocrisy mm -hmm. is so prevalent, it's actually, it's laughable. It is. It's, it's actually, like anybody with a little teeny sliver of gray matter between their ears mm -hmm. uh, could figure this out, unless you are so blinded by ideology. Yep. And I don't think, I, I mean, look, and you say we want, I, I mean, you know, the people on the left or people on the right, look, I just think the fact that they've convinced you one side's better than the other, I think, and if you believe that, you're even dumber than they thought you would be, because it's actually two wings on the same bird. They've been, they don't care about the, the people. It's obviously after the last three years, and that, uh, 
you know, this has just been one giant uh, psyop that they, they've run, and they've been running for a long time. 100%. So, yeah, so yeah. Jimmy, you to, you believe, because I'm pretty sure we see in the same, because we never talk, we've never spoken no. about politics at all, but do you feel, so Jimmy, there's two ways that people think about it. One side is just evil as shit and gets away with everything. That's, you know, what the left is right now. And then the other side is just there. They're fighting. They're trying for the people, but then nothing happens. Like, every hearing that you hear, Jimmy, it's... it's well, the that's, that's because the system is broken, really. It's, you know, you, they have these great ideas when they go to Washington, but the machine and the corruption is so, it's so big. I mean, you know, like, you know, there's millions and millions of dollars and, and Big Pharma has its tentacles into everything. It's like the transgender uh, with the kid thing, which I've never seen before in my life, mm -hmm. that it's gotten this, this big push and they go, oh, we got to follow the science. You know, how about I follow the money? And that'll lead me to the science, which is for every kid that transitions, that'll be a million dollars over the course of their lifetime to Big Pharma for all the estrogen and all the, the synthetic chemicals they have to pump into themselves so they can run and play this little masquerade like I'm a woman now. Like, whatever. I don't. I, I think a lot of these kids are probably gay or confused, mm -hmm. and they immediately throw them into the transgender lane. And so a lot of these kids have regrets about transitioning. They're coming out. You'll see it. You'll see videos online now. And so it's like I don't think, like, you know, it's like you're gonna be like an eight-year-old, twelve-year-old. I mean, you can't even vote till you're sixteen. You can't even drink till you're twenty-one. You can just go and somebody just picked their gender. I mean, it's a little, it's a little crazy. Uh, it's just a little, uh, and the fact that everybody's going along with it. I mean, obviously, uh, I mean, it, but, but once you start to go down the rabbit hole, I think in the beginning of the pandemic, you go down this rabbit hole, mm -hmm. and there's another rabbit hole waiting yeah, for you there, upgrade. and then another one, and yeah. another one, and another one, and you realize, you know, they've been po like the fact that I go to a grocery store, I go, hey, can I get the food without the poison on it? <laughs> oh, sure. Or that's yeah. extra. Or, yeah, you, know, you had to pay I mean, more for the poison. Hey, 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 here's your plastic Tupperware, which has phthalates in it and stuff that gets in your food. Yeah. And they say the average person digests a credit card worth of plastic every month or whatever. Great. Just, yeah, I read yeah, that. You, you know, the water's got all kinds of antidepressants and stuff that people flush down the toilet or put all that stuff's going into water supply. I mean, it's just, it's just, we're living in, like, I mean, at some point, you know, Bill Gates made lots and lots and lots yeah. of money off the vaccination. Of course. While murdering people. You know, it's yeah. like, it's like, to me, it's like, how much money do you fucking need? Yeah. Like you're a, like really? I mean, what's your number to just walk away? Yeah. Like go 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 first. Don't get rid of that Beatles haircut and those Coke bottle glasses. <laughs> get and a little and makeover and, a, and, a, and, a and then go sit on a beach somewhere and have topless women bring you, you know, rum runners and mai tais and go enjoy your life a little bit. <laughs> yeah. They like all these guys, even even. Uh, Fucking Rockefeller, you did yeah. the, it was an oil magnet, and they found out you could make petroleum-based medicines. Well, oh, that opened up a whole new can of worms, took a vast fortune, and it had them flip the food pyramid, and, you know, people need insulin, and uh, so they flip the food pyramid, you get fat people, I mean, we, we need, we'll sell insulin to these people, and, 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 and it's just, it's one fucking con job <laughs> after a fucking another con job, and... So what do you think? But Jimmy, what do you think it's gonna take? Cause I'm listen. Bro, I'm with you, here's what you do. What do you think it's? What do you think it's gonna take to break that system? Is it going to have to be a, a human being? Like, mind you, I'm not talking like people always talk shit, Jimmy, because they're gonna talk shit. And some people, there's always haters in the comments. Trump, like it or not, yeah, he was in during the fucking pandemic, and they needed to rush the vaccine. I get all that shit. But is it gonna take an outsider like him that's tr literally? trying to change it or is it going to be like an act of god to come in there because jimmy it ain't changing those guys with the money well they're not going to change bro well, like bill, well, first bill, bill, off the president the, the first off, the, the, the fact that people think the president runs the country is hilarious yeah it's not you know that you, you, you know there's bigger forces at work here that's the he's just the guy i'm the wizard i'm the mighty powerful wizard of oz and yeah. we find the curtain and there's a whole whole yeah. cast of characters shadier than the next of course that, that influence you know they're they're messing around with the weather they you know we landed a moon on we landed a man on the moon all you did was land people's imagination on the moon you yeah. never really did that you know so just don't, don't fucking pee on me and tell me i don't believe <laughs> Any years, any fucking more. I don't believe a single fucking word they say. Not on the news, not on the TV, not in the commercials. I don't think you're looking out for me. I think you're getting rich trying to fucking poison me and poisoning the food. And you sell all these Americans out and you just sell them out because you're a greedy, soulless, shallow fuck. I love and you go up there and that's all it is. And that's, that's all right. we have. And that's what we would say. We got people running the country that could literally give a fuck about mm -hmm. you. And, yep. and there's all kinds of evidence. Out. The, the, the fact, 
I, I love that we didn't need, you know, we didn't need fact checkers until the truth started getting out. Well, oh, that's, I mean, you could see it. The fact that they, the fact that they, they literally censor what people say. I mean, mm -hmm. come on, seriously? Mm -hmm. I mean, is this America or is this a banana republic or is it a third world country? Yeah. I mean, you have no idea, you know, the, this whole illusion, you know, you know, at one point it, it meant something. It doesn't anymore. It's what? absolutely. What, America? Yeah, it's it's the United States and a FedEx Bank of America. It's yeah. a corporation now, led mm -hmm. by corporations on top of corporations on top of corporations. Mm -hmm. And these people are so fucking greedy yep. that you, you're not going to have any power. That you don't have any power. I, good luck trying to change it. I am going to go live my fucking life. I'm mm -hmm. going to go live and enjoy whatever fucking time I have left on the planet. I'm going to fucking enjoy it. Yep. And I'm not going to get caught up in it because it'll drive you fucking insane. There's nothing you can do anyway. But see, Jimmy, yeah. see, like you, I could, I mean, you're obviously passionate about it and going back to what i asked so do you think like is it gonna be something biblical is it gonna be something to come because jimmy we were talking about the money like people like the bill gates the fact that they're not even trying to hide it bill gates has said our biggest problem to humanity is there's too many of you there's too many of us. We have to. Well, what, what, why doesn't Bill Gates volunteer to off himself? <laughs> why doesn't he take himself out? Yeah. Like, well, we'll start with you, Bill. I agree. You, there's too, too many, many you. people. How about you first? Fauci second. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, Hunter Biden third. Yeah, let's, well, let's, that piece of let's, shit. Let's, let's, Hunter Biden is too let's, entertaining for me. I say yeah, keep but, him. But, but you know what though? Keep like, him. Wait, but, uh, Jimmy, not to shift gears, but just because I had to write this down. A lot of people talk shit about Hunter Biden. And I started thinking, because I hated him, because I was like, this piece of shit gets away with murder. But here's the thing. I actually envy him. Think about this, Jimmy. Ready for this? Not only is he a full-time crackhead, he's an international <laughs> businessman who sits on the boards of companies, and he has zero knowledge in the field. He's a world-renowned painter selling paintings for up to $500,000 a piece. Jimmy, and the prince, 100000 He sleeps with countless women, including his dead brother, Bo's widow, which is, he's really awesome for that. He's an amazing multitasker who can drive 172 miles an hour while smoking crack, entertaining <laughs> a hooker while recording the whole thing. And he's untouchable. He, this idiot walked into nice a, 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 a computer repair shop, left two computers that had every, ev like the most damning evidence against him and the big guy, his father, him having sex with underage girls. And guess what? The FBI colludes with the, with the FB, uh, FBI, uh, mainstream media, and you know what they said? This is, you can't, uh, you can't, on Twitter, you can't post this. You can't do anything. He is, I envy this guy, bro. Like, he's untouchable. He is the luckiest, well, dumbest crackhead on the you, planet. You, you, you know, you gotta give him, you're like, until you, you put it all together like that, you it really is amazing. <laughs> you know? Jimmy, Jimmy, it's, it's, he's the best. First off, you know, wherever there's a douchebag kid, I said there's a douchebag parent right behind him. Yeah. You know I what agree. I mean? So, uh, so, but yeah, you're right. That's quite an accomplishment. Well, how, and, and Jimmy, like I used to be like, cause I, I'm, dude, when I, mean, I tell you. Could you imagine becoming president not being able to form fucking sentences? He, did you see him yesterday? Did you see him yesterday talking to the prime minister of, uh, or is it the president of um, where, uh, Israel? He, dude, Honestly. he was like this the whole time. He's like this, uh, 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 and no. And here's the thing, Jimmy. Nobody's calling him out. This is proof that the left runs everything. Think about this. Do you, do you have, did you ever watch the White House press briefings when like Sarah Huckabee Sanders was in there? There was just a press pool of people yelling and fire. Hey, shut Trump! And it was an art. Jim Acosta. It's amazing how dumb they get when the change in leadership. And it's amazing how, how yeah. incurious they get. Yeah, very oh, quiet. You know, no, one, no one's asking the important questions anymore. Yeah. You know. Oh, and like you're you're right, but it's so obvious, and they think that we're as dumb as they are. Like, yeah. do you really think that this? Well, that they count on you being too busy, or you're staring at your phone, or you, the you have a wife and too kids, fast. and you yeah. got all this stuff, and well, buried over the weekend. Da, 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 da. But there are people paying attention, you know. Uh, but paying no, attention, no. Jimmy. But can can we change it? That's the whole fucking no, problem. That's, the, uh, that's why I get like I get so frustrated. There's too much money being made. How do you like? You think they're going to cure cancer? It's a 194 billion dollar a year business. Chemotherapy is big business. Yeah. You think if you came up with a pill, guy, I got a pill that cures cancer. You would take three steps and you popped in You're the head. Dead. I got yeah. a car that runs on water. <laughs> dead. <laughs> fell hanging. Uh, yeah, I hey, that. I figured out a way to fucking uh, make all, all this power free. <laughs> you know, fucking another guy hanging. You accidentally it doesn't make no because there's because it's billions with a yeah. B of dollars involved. And so it's not going to stop. You can't, it's like, you know, you, you, can't, you can't, look, we don't live in a Walt Disney movie. The world is obviously very, uh, you, you know, corrupt and, 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 and there's real evil. I mean, it's, it's, I've never seen like a movie like The Sound of Freedom 
It's so kind of trying to hush hush and uh, I mean have you ever seen something the like more that? you do that the more it gets me curious why why because I'm an inquisitive guy I'm asking why yeah why do why why can't it get the same theater release uh, or why why is it not getting any tension oh it's just it's uh it's Q-Anon a QAnon conspiracy yeah but it's like dude let me tell you something bro and where are all the missing kids Based going? On a true story. where are all yeah. the missing kids go yeah. 28,000 kids missing where are they going wait hold huh? on Eight, it's been 85,000 in the past uh four years 85,000 seven six point nine million uh, just illegals are coming in, and here's the thing: this is this is a fact. Are you ready for this? I read this yesterday. Single uh, males coming to the border with an unaccompanied, like with a minor, yeah. with a kid, used to be two percent of the single adult males. Now it's up to fifty percent, Jimmy. And the, guess what? Homeland Security, DDS, all these people, they did DNA tests to see if this guy is related to nope. this fucking kid. No. And here's the thing: if you talk about it, here's this isn't a theory, Jimmy. I know this for a fact. You know why they're all like, hey, don't, this movie's this, and leave the border open. You're fucking with their supply line of these kids, bro. Well, why? Because they're all pedophiles. I, I, they're yep. all fucking Satan-worshipping pedophiles. I agree. That, uh, that you pay taxes to. That's <laughs> what you're like, you know. And they're all like fucking, you know, this soulless fucking people that have convinced you somehow that, I mean, let me tell you something, these people have never built anything, they've never run a business, they've usually been in like, you know, city government to, to, to middle management, to uh, state government, then to federal government, and they've just been on the government debt the whole time. They do nothing, you know, they just ruin every single fucking thing they touch. Mm -hmm. They fucking ruin everything. And so, I just fucking, I just, Dude, I'm gonna go. Chill and live, your dude, life. I'm gonna go live my life. I don't give a fuck, dude. Because you know what? I, I mean, when the fucking aliens, when they fucking they lift the curtain and the aliens come, then everybody's gonna fucking buy a bowl of toilet paper because they think that's gonna make a difference. <laughs> and you're gonna see this mass stupidity on a level you haven't seen fucking stupid before. Can I ask you a question? And it's just, I'm just gonna, I'll be, I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a boat out about 200 miles, just watch it fucking burn to the ground. And then come I'm gonna back come to in, land. I'm gonna forage for food in yeah. the fucking rubble. Yeah. I'm gonna go back out and then back out and catch some fish. Do you have a boat here? I'm, I, yeah, I'm gonna take care of it, bro. I don't, know. don't you want to tell? Me? Where, where, where is it specifically? Yeah, don't tell me where no, it is specifically. No, but bro, we gotta we gotta next it plan. <laughs> I just I, I, I don't I, I don't trust these people. I never have. I don't trust them. I don't believe you. I I mean that's a decision I made because I realized. But I fucking I'm just sitting here going, Jesus, everything I think I thought I knew no, in my I don't fuck. Know shit. I don't know fucking anything yeah it's bad I mean, all, every, all i know is all this stuff that you've been you know, i've been socially conditioned to believe and organized religion and you're going to hell and you need to you know all this stuff it's all fucking bullshit do you think the aliens so uh do you think the aliens because there's two people there's two sides aliens are already here They've already been in they're, they're, They've been here for thousands and thousands of years. They go go read a, go read about the Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Read about yeah, yeah, yeah. Anunnaki, whatever the fucking <laughs> it was. It sounds like an addition to Italian. Give me the Anunnaki with the vodka sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? hey, give me the give me the hey. Anunnaki with the vodka. Hey, hey, but I mean, but, food in that, but isn't yeah, it? but but yeah, dude, there's evidence fucking everywhere if you're looking. Yeah. You know, if you just you know. If you're not, I don't know what to tell you. And some people, even if you told them, mm -hmm. it's called cognitive dissonance. It, like the, the, the more factual based you give them, the facts. Here's the facts. These are <laughs> fucking facts. They're like, yeah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Guy's taking his fucking IQ with a tire catch. Yeah, I don't believe it. Yeah, you're just, you're just fibbing. You, what, you see it on Fox News? Yeah. No, you idiot. Fox yeah. is as bad as MSNBC. You yeah. fucking, they're playing two sides to the middle. And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're fucking stupid. You're dumb. You're so fucking dumb. You are you I love the fact that he goes, I try not to get involved. I try not to get Yeah, right. Somebody's like, he's going to have a heart attack. Yeah, too listen, much passion listen, for that. Listen, I'm, I'm doing yoga now. I'm fucking, I'm getting myself. I'm Jimmy's, about, to, Jimmy's like, yo, we have to cut that together where Jimmy's like, you know what? I try to disconnect. He's like, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Vinny, Jimmy, I think you got your running mate. That was my listen, Jimmy. If I, run for, if I run for president, you want me to be I would fucking it. have you as my vice president. Because Jimmy, and here's the thing, bro. There's like I said, there's always two. There's always there's two sets of people. The people that are like, like for instance, you know what? Hold on, just 
You, what are you gonna, you can't change it. But I say, Jimmy, I'm gonna, even if I have to change one person to wake the fuck up, so, so that when it all comes to an end, you can look around and be like, I told you, I told you, I told, we're all no, gonna no, die. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, I'm, I don't even care about proving myself right. I, do. I know what I know, that, and I know that I don't know anything, and I started there. Yeah. And then I realized, I go, holy shit, shit. I really don't know anything. Yeah. And then, and then, the, and I just feel like, I feel like a schmuck. Yep. for believing this because everybody bought into the, you know, they, they lied to your great-grandparents, they lied to your grandparents, they lied to your parents, and they're lying to you. Mm -hmm. And it's been going on for, for years and uh, hundreds of years. I mean, it's, it's all, you know, but I, but I, I just don't, be, I don't believe any of it anymore. Do you have any, I, so no. Jimmy, uh, kind of organized religion aside, do you have any faith? Like, do you do you, do you yeah. believe that there's a super power? Yeah, no, I do. A higher I, power. I do have a. I do have a. I do have a faith. Uh, it's just not. I just don't believe in organized religion. I believe in. I believe in a. You know, I, I'm. A, I'm. You know, uh, it's interesting because I've been meditating and I do the hot yoga and I've been finding you know a spiritual yeah. kind of center like or just and 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 but I'm also just you know. Also, you know, eating healthier and not eating good. foods. That's, that's the things I'm supposed to you're stay not, away you're from. You're not eating a credit card a month? Yeah. You're not trying eating, not to eat a credit trying, card. But, you know, it's funny because I was just, I was just, I just did a, because I read that. Mm -hmm. and I said, oh, that's interesting. And I started looking around. I went, Fucking oh, blessed. my God. <laughs> it's all plastic. Everything. That's all. It comes in a plastic container. You put it in a plastic container. It's just like you filter your water in a plastic pitcher. You go, you can't. Get, get away, away from, from it. it. You can't. And so I start. I went. And I got started getting glass bowls to like store food in. And yeah, as soon as I smart. get it out, I put it in glass Tupperware. Good. And stuff like that. I don't cook it in a microwave. I always heat up in my oven smart. now. Smart. Good. I drink. I get cases of spring water that I drink Good. out of glass bottles because I'm not man. drinking out of plastic anymore except on this show because you, you ain't got no budget. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the point is, no, no, but uh, but I just, I just like you, you go. I'm just gonna st and I dare you. I dare you to to. To just cut the plastic out of your life. Yeah. And you go, do you feel oh my better? God, do you feel, do you feel it? Do you feel the difference? Well, uh, uh, and then on top of like not using fluoride in my toothpaste anymore no, or the aluminum in my underarm deodorant. Yeah. I mean, I start there. Plus, I don't believe it. I think, I think the, 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 the stuff that you put Lotion? on your skin, Lotion? you know, the uh, sunscreen. Oh, that's all fucking It's aluminum. funny because now we're living in a world where people are getting less exposure to the sun, yeah. but there's more skin cancer. Is that weird? The, what's that? Well, it's interesting because you're spraying that chemicals on your body. Yeah. I, the sun is actually good for you. It's the life giver, yep. and so you got to get out and get some sun. You have to. Every it's day, it's imperative. Jimmy, and you I have stand to take off day. your shoes, yeah. and you have to walk on the grass, and you have to ground yourself. And it's all part of it. It's like you fight, and pick, and choose your battles, mm -hmm. you know. But as you start to un uh, come go down, you go. I just I want to get back to the thing where, like, you know, my phone is a way for me to stay in touch with the world. I'm not interacting with it every day. I don't care. I'm leaving it in my office. I don't want to go out. I'm going to go do a, go do at least a 30-minute walk in the sun. I'm going to take my shoes off. I'm going to stand in the grass. I'm going to Because the, er the Earth is a magnetic. We're electromagnetic. The sun's yeah. electrons electric. from so, And all the stuff. Like, see, the thing they don't want you to do, they want you sick. That's why they want of you course, to have the seed oil. Like, stick, get the, rid of the seed oils. Get the seed oils out of your... Yep. This shit was like, used for engines yeah. in the World right. War no II, outside. it's like, yeah. you know, they've done studies, this stuff is poison, but they're allowed to sell it to you. Yeah. They're allowed to sell it to you. It's like margarine. Margarine is like one molecule away from plastic. Like, if, <laughs> if you put a tub of it out, ants, flies, gnats, <laughs> flies, you land on shit, you go near it, birds, squirrels, bees, no one yeah. will get it, and it Nobody doesn't go bad because it's not food. Yeah. But you somehow, you're allowed to buy this and put this in your body because the FDA, boy, so, they yeah. say it's okay. Yeah. And they're always looking out for you, those F people. FDA really cares about but, you. But, 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 but so it's just a giant con job. I, and I think everything just started. And I, so you slowly and you just start to unravel. And I don't watch television anymore. I, I, I listen to music mostly. Good. Uh, you what's know, your, fa what's I, your I read, favorite? I started going back to reading books, which I love. I'd rather read books written by people who built stuff and did some great, not by people tearing everything down. I mean, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going old, old you, school. I'm going old school. I'm going, I'm going to go back to my Celtic roots. Hey, hey, there's <laughs> candles and witchcraft. And hey, yeah, I'm a power. What, I'm what, like a shaman. <laughs> ha, as above, so below. What's you know? a good, yeah, and like what book are you reading right now? Anything uh, good? I was reading short stories by Anton Chekhov. Oh, I'm shit. Chekhov, classic. Yeah, classic. Deep. Yeah, and I was just, uh, uh, you know, I went down to Key West not too long ago, and I went to visit Hemingway's house. Oh. And Hemingway wrote this kid a note who traveled oh, from Canada down to see him. Yeah. And he said, well, you should read these authors. And he had, oh, so wow. They had the, so I'm going through that. I'm just checking them off. So I got a story, uh, The Pale Door. The, the, but there was a collection of short stories by this guy. So I'm really enjoying these short stories. Awesome. And it's so funny. Because, as it affects my stand-up, I always find when I'm reading more... Mm -hmm. Your stand-up gets better? 
Well, you're writing more. I'm writing gotcha, more because gotcha. you, you, you're reading and write. Read, it's like hand in hand. And so, like anytime you find your stuff, you know, getting like stifled stagnant. and stuff, you read, yeah. and then it, and, and it gives you ideas. And you know, and everybody gets their influence from from everywhere. You know, I'm yeah. trying to, uh, and I love, you know, I love writing great jokes. I love like coming up with and crafting a premise or an idea. Uh, you, you know, and uh, and you know, and you know, just as you're writing it, and then you find the end, and then you get a call back at the end. Yeah, well, that's that's what I do. I, yeah. I think I was like, you know, I, I mean, you know, I love doing stand-up comedy. It's yeah. my it's my passion. I, I really love making people laugh. But the other thing is too is I, you know, when I was a kid, I used to do magic. Uh -huh. And so back before the pandemic in 2017, I auditioned for the Magic Castle to become a magician member. Oh there, shit! And I passed and stuff. So I do oh, close great. up. I do close up magic, and then of course I act. I got three films coming out this year. Uh, one is with the. Uh, Ryan Callen and Eric Griffith. That was written by Kevin McNamara. Uh, uh, that's called I was, uh, with with Mark O'Brien is in it, and uh, and Amanda Clayton, who's on the City on the Hill and the yeah, Showtime. Yeah. It's called Topper. Yeah, that's I great. talked to Eric. Yes, I was. Uh, I'm I'm really good friends with Eric Griffith I, and yeah, Ryan Callen. Oh, he's great. He's and amazing. We had so much fun. Oh. And then also. Um, uh, this movie called Puppy Love uh -huh. with this guy Michael Max is a director but Hopper Penn's in Hopper Penn has a lead did a oh. great job uh, Michael Madsen Roseanne Arquette Wayne, Wayne Newton's in it oh, Cowboy shit. Cerrone Wayne Newton, yeah. from USC oh. Cowboy Cerrone is in it oh, and shit. man he steals this guy is, is, he, is he's he really good he's really good at it. I, I, he steals every scene he's in he's oh, amazing shit. That's great. and so that's, that's and, then, and also um, this movie with Matt, I did with Matt Reif, who obviously you know is blowing yeah. up. It's called Don't Suck. Don't but suck. Written, by, written by Rick D'Elia, but uh, Russell Peters is in it, and Jamie Kennedy's in it. And Jamie Kennedy and Matt are like the, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, together. Yeah. They got a great chemistry. So I think that, uh, you know, this writer strike uh, and, and, and uh, an actor strike, obviously, there's these products, well, it's sucking ass, but those products are already in the can. So I think they'll all get sold. I think that, you know, and so you just do these things. I, I just did a new, uh, new, new special I'm going to release on YouTube okay. called Clown Shoes. When's it come uh, out? Made, well, uh, probably, uh, we're just I'm putting the finishing touches on now. So um, probably like in August, maybe. Okay, don't, you where'd, you shoot, where'd you shoot it? I shot it in Phoenix, actually, at the Rick Bronson's great. House of Comedy, oh. which I love that room. It's I a great, love that spot. Yeah, it's a great room. So, uh, so yeah, it's a, a, one of the lines I say is, like, you know, I'm surprised anybody can make it back in Home Alive today with all the silliness and the stuff that we talked about it. yeah. it's like it's like walking through a minefield in clown shoes <laughs> and so it so so it just open, my special just opens up with these clown shows oh, just up and down the street and they go into the comedy club oh, and then, but uh but yeah so and i got, i'm probably have a new album coming out later this year as well that we've uh, pre-recorded so we're just we're just trying to do I, the due diligence and stuff and just trying to keep busy well jimmy like i said when i opened you're you're one of i mean you, and mind you we've talked we've seen each other we we've we bantered i've seen you at clubs but whole newfound respect the fact that you you think like that you're open but you're still doing your passion and for somebody that loves the art as much as you do it's inspiring and the fact that yeah. like you're not i hate i can't i can't believe i'm actually i hate this word woke you're awake you're you're not yeah. you're not well, asleep you know everybody everybody uses that term and, i hate and, it you know and, and the funny thing is is it's like you know uh listen there's not your truth there is the truth, the and truth. then there's your fucking opinion, yeah. okay? And I'm sorry, but I, there's a little game I like to play called fucking reality. Yeah. You know, if you want to run around delusional and, you know, think of the world, it's, you know, well, it's forming into my utopia, and I, you, because you're, uh, nobody gives a fuck, all right? <laughs> there's a lot of people who live here. It's got to be fucking fair and good for everybody, yeah. you know? And the fact that nobody's, uh, you know, defending children, I think, you know, and there's, uh, I think, uh, Camille Piglia talks about this, and she talks about, you know, in the, 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 the fall of civilizations, the last thing it's that, that happens near the end is the androgyny, where, where they can't determine what's what. It's weird. Like, Ancient weird. Greece. Yeah, no, this is happening. You know, so, so it's like, you know, I, like, I like to read books. I like to, you know, and I, lo I love educating myself. And so, right. I, I, you know, anybody with any sense in their head at all can see this is just an absolute clown show we live in. So pick your poison, do your stuff, fight your battles, and, and go on. But don't fucking pee on me and tell me it's fucking raining yeah. out. Right? Don't expect me to go along with your charade and to be as dumb as you are. Yeah. Please don't then expect it. I find it insulting, yeah. all right? I took my SATs with a flare pen, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, guys. Uh, well, Jimmy, I love you to death. <laughs> guys, by the way, you're talking about. Sorry, I did all the talking. No, you did all the things. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, that's well, it's some hey, truth. Some Jimmy, hard truth. It. Jimmy, it's a Vincent O'Shaughnessy show, but you're my fucking guest. Yeah. And I'm telling you right now, the people that are watching, 
they're, they understand where the hell you're coming from and they love the passion. We're going to, but Jimmy, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they're going to, uh, yeah, you know, it's, my, well, <laughs> I'm sure the comments. The I'll comments get, right now, I'll, like, he's going to have a heart attack. I'll get, I'll get crucified. No. He's, how dare him? No, no. How no. dare him? No, this no, is no, right no, after like, like, I give a fuck what anybody thinks. No, you think I give a fuck what you think? Jimmy, You think I give a shit? You think I give a fuck what you think? Ah, you, you live in your parents' basement, you fucking watch porn for 12 hours a day and eat Doritos and beat off to your dick's orange and drink Red Bull and then fucking what? Wait, wait, you think I give a fuck what you think about me? You think... I'm kidding. Guys, I really don't think he gives a fuck. All right, but listen, <laughs> Jimmy, we're going to move on to, to another segment on the show. Uh, it's one of my favorite. Hard <laughs> he's to the guy, that, Jimmy, he, 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 for you, you've been listening to him in the background. Uh, he's our in-house news correspondent. Oh. He's an international sex icon, too. His oh, name thank is Dodge Landsman, and his segment is called Dodge This. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't have a week show last week, did we? We had, yeah, we had a, a, a special that was, that was a special. presidential debate. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we had the debate, my bad. But that I was jam like it wasn't get show. It, in there. it wasn't like the Vince yeah. Show, but it was No, it wasn't a regular one. Yeah, but we didn't have Dodge. That's what no, I'm saying. Misty we didn't guys. Have Dodge. Misty so, Dodge, guys. please, Gil, what the hell is happening in the world? Are you doing good? Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing very well. I love um, your hair. It's just fucking glistening. It, it doesn't look nice. It looks like you have gold hair, like gold-plated hair. Well, they said, one commenter said, my hair matched my teeth. Oh. And I, am an, I do smoke two packs a day. Oh, that's, so, that, that's that internet you know. kindness. Yeah, right. they, all, they love that. We've they all become that. used to that internet kindness. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, we have. All right, Dodge, no, let it roll, baby. Talk to us. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a lot of interesting news, and we'll start, of course, with President Trump. Yeah. The Justice Department warned former President Trump of a likely indictment stemming from the January 6th incident, making his bad boy image even more irresistible <laughs> to conservative women. <laughs> The conservatives love Trump. That's hilarious. Makes you know, when I, went to the, when I went to the hairdresser, I said, give me the Trump. <laughs> <laughs> give me the Trump. I'll fix these people. That's I hilarious. Think, I think they did it right. We, we got the same kind of hair texture, too. I love it. Too, I love so it. Keep it going. I'm, uh, I'd imagine I'll head in that direction. Parents <laughs> have been asking if the new Barbie movie is actually for kids. Well, considering that my first sexual experience was trying to hook up with a friend's life-size Barbie in first grade, I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> Oh Where's the you don't have the, the Barbie doll photo? Oh, I missed that one. Oh, that show that's the <laughs> one. That's the one. That's a life-size Barbie. I remember doll. being seven years old and at like just asking for a moment alone. Oh my with the god! Life -size Listen, Barbie. you gotta respect them for curious. being honest. Did you get a plastic candy for the puppet? <laughs> oh, no there you way. go. Talking about plastic, <laughs> came into my love life. Go no ahead, Dodge. Way. And Snooki and JWoww's daughters had an adorable play date over the weekend where they got to stand on the street corner and watch their mothers haggle for tricks. <laughs> Dodge is fucking brutal. Yes, Dodge. Got some mean hunters. jokes in there. Let's go. And continuing with the cocaine theme, the Biden administration denied that the cocaine found in the White House belonged to Hunter. A White House spokesman said, Coke is way too classy of a drug for that lowlife crackhead. <laughs> Dude, he he looks like he looked rough when he was on the fucking. It's bad. It's getting worse. Every time there, I see there, a new there, photo, this guy, uh, uh, there's picture after picture, <laughs> video after picture after video. Tra like, trove. I mean, do these people like like even when I interact online, you have to realize that whatever you post, they're watching you. Yes. They're going to use it against you the minute. Yeah. So it's like. This guy, not so much. No. I mean, everything. Untouchable. This guy's got like a, a helmet with all cameras, 360 <laughs> degrees, so you can see everything. You know, there's this, this video of him snorting coke of a 13-year-old uh, Asian uh, girl's Chinese ass girl. when he was yeah. in China. Yeah. You know, that's, uh, the, uh, that's wonder why the, 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 the Chinese government's got a Biden's butter balls. Of boss. course. Yeah, we'll just release these to the American public. Then we'll have, no, please, I'll do what you say. <laughs> Go ahead. Hunter's the smartest son. He's the smartest guy. He's the guy smartest guy. Nice life. Yeah, yeah sure I'll he is. I'll say that. Go ahead, Dodge. Wrong kid died. Homeless man has been found living underneath the Los Angeles Japanese Museum for over three months. Officials at the museum never noticed him as their eyes were squinted. <laughs> Dodge. Jesus Christ. Dodge. Neat, I know. Dodge is crazy. Did he just say? Yeah, he said the, the guy's wrong. They work at the Japanese museum, so. I'm going, I'm going back to the previous joke I think everybody missed. He said the wrong son died. <laughs> wrong kid died. Yeah. Oh, the wrong kid. Hey, yeah. there you Should go. Should have been both. Oh, I love it. Go ahead, Dodge. Oh, my God, brutal. 
And a new trend has an alarming number of doctors walk out in the middle of performing surgery what? due to unreasonable working conditions. Shut but in up. anger, some, cho some chose to continue their surgeries and just add an extra penis onto their patients <laughs> instead. He put two dicks on <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> the walking out, yes. The penis part, no. They're walking out. Nobody has two penises. What? Well, well I'm sorry, I'm some people do have two penises. And but that's my choice. one hot dog has a vein in it. What's the, where did that come from? <laughs> I want hot dog in the vein. And where did that come from? <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's... Oh, God. Dude, the doctors are walking up because like, it's one. too dirty in here. Holy shit. That, can you Man, imagine that? You made a, a, a vow to do no harm. How are you going to walk out oh, in the middle of the surgery? Yeah, yeah I, I, I made a vow to do no yeah, harm like, with air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> and, and clean yeah. facilities, all right? Yeah. That's, that's, that's you know, their gripe. I want, I want everything bleached down. Oh, my God. Go ahead, Dodge. I'm not doing this out of dick to me under these conditions. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens. You get an extra dick otherwise. Hey. And the New York Times has a profile on a group of chefs who feed both Beyonce and Lizzo while on tour. Ooh. Let's just say one requires a lot more effort than the other. <laughs> He's tired he from guess. fucking feeding Lizzo's ass. She it's not an easy job. Diet. She eats a lot, bro. She has an emergency sandwich what in her hand. What a shocker, bro. She's we have to remember, she's brave now. She's brave. She's that's brave. That's true. I shouldn't she's be making fun of her. Like, that's women. Body so, yeah, Lizzo's here. You know, you look a little like Lizzo. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? She's a you hero. son of a bitch. She's a hero, Jimmy. Don't talk yeah, about my heroes, heroes like that. they're all heroes, bro. They're all I mean, heroes. Hero. Hey, she's welcome to sit heroes. in my face. Huh? She's welcome to sit in my face, Jesus, Dodge. She weighs 300 pounds. She would You'd disappear. That's part of the fun of it. <laughs> <laughs> ahead, how can go. you tell a girl? How can you tell a girl's big like that? You know, when her panties are down around her ankles and her pussy's still in it. That's a kind of. <laughs> oh that's a kind of. You taught me. That's big time. <laughs> oh, I thought. That's the most massive one here. Step back for the no. step back for the buffet table. All right, is that too much to ask? No, I'm sorry. The brave, the brave people. She's a hero. The brave people. Oh the Jimmy, brave, the Jimmy, brave. She's a hero. Yeah, she's a hero. Yeah. Okay. Like, hey, my friend here, he just got back from Iraq. Now who gives a shit? Yeah. She's <laughs> yeah, she's the real hero. <laughs> she just got back from the Golden Corral. Who's the hero? <gasps> Who's the hero? <laughs> Oh, look, God, look, man. look, I'm supposed to go along with your stupidity? I don't, I don't think so. No, but yeah, the best, the best was Jimmy when Casey. <laughs> but before I get canceled, I just want to say it was great being here. Uh, we all are. I was great being here. We all are in this room. Before I get canceled, before they come after Jimmy Schubert, oh, God. Uh, he wouldn't play our game. Oh, my he God. wouldn't act stupid oh. and go along with the talking hey, my points. Fucking face hurt. Jimmy, the best was when you talk about heroes <laughs> and brave, it's when Caitlyn Jenner came out. She was the first one, right? Caitlyn came out, and remember, she came out, and they were like, this, she is a hero. And I, dude, I almost got canceled because I went on stage, and I said, listen, she's not a hero. The only way she'd be a hero, because you know what? First Jimmy, off, uh, Caitlyn she, never cut off the penis. She did it. No, I, huh? you know, but she still can play for Red Tees at the country club, and that's what I think it was really about. I think Bruce Jenner was a <laughs> shitty golfer, want to take any advantage he could, so we wanted to play for Red Tees as opposed to, you know, where the pros play from, and so that's what I think and it's I, about. And this is if you I was, ask me honestly, because I think. Well, this is where I was going, too, the fact that they said it was a, that's hilarious, by the way, that he was a hero, he didn't chop off his dick, all he did was get, he got breast implants, right? Is that still, that's a fact. I said, listen, the only way he'd be a hero is if he went overseas, ISIS had his tits, and he fought and killed like two or three of them, <laughs> and then he brought them back. Then you're nice. a hero. Well, you know, first off, this whole thing, and you, you know where it really, it really hits home for me, is the fact that you have all these women that have scholastic opportunities, that, that the women had to fight tooth and nail for Title IX to get their own locker rooms, to get their own sports, to get their own funding for sports. And then you uh, allow men to come in and compete with these women. Men it's are, absolutely shh, don't men are winning. It's despicable. It's, it's, but, the, men are, it's, but men are well, winning. Well, first off, I got news. I, I say men. I use the term very loosely because you know, you know, 40 years ago, men were lying about their age to go fight and fight in the war and save the world. Now men are lying about their gender so they can fucking strip women of all their, uh, you know, athletic achievements. So yeah, bravo. Yeah, good well job. done. All well right, done. guys, you got more story? Yeah, that, that, that was funny. You just took the joke and ran with it. Oh, All right, and sticking with the New York Times, they have a list of the top vibrators for sale. Oh, it's wow. Been, yeah, it's nice. been well Good received. Wow. wow, it's been, it's, it's been interesting. It's been very well received by female readers of the newspaper, considering that no men will actually touch them. <laughs> the New York Times. 
Yes, Dodge, make it fun of both sides. You know, it's, you know it's funny. You know it's funny. I actually uh, put the New York Times. I have a parakeet. I put the the shit. It shits uh, under it. it. Yeah, it yeah, shits he, on it. He won't even shit on it. He won't even shit. <laughs> on he looks the other way. Wow. My, my, my parakeet won't even shit. Like sometimes my bird just stares at the cage. You look at me. He goes, yeah. why? Why is why is my owner staring at the rug? Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm just reading the paper. He goes, Do why is he staring? That's at the rug? Dodge. Is that it? That's it. Hey guys, give it up for Dodge. For Dodge. Come on. Come on, Dodge. Can yeah. Keep it going for him. I love Dodge. His hair is the same color as your teeth. Ladies uh, and gentlemen. All right, guys. We're going to go. Dodge, thank you. We're going to shift gears. Well, uh, we you. have about five minutes left. We're going to go to some new stories, some stupid stories that are going around in the world. Jimmy, I want to hear you. You mean every, every, almost every fucking almost story happening? every story. You're going to laugh at the first one. And okay. this segment is called Venting with Vinny. Venting with Vinny. It's Venting with Vinny. <laughs> venting with Vinny. No, no, that's when you told me with my hair being short. All uh, right, Jimmy, the first story, you're going to love this guy. A guy in Japan. Uh, who didn't want to reveal his real name, obviously. He spent almost $13,000 to become a dog. Become a what? Uh, become a dog. That's wow. a guy in a costume. I'm not, he, he became a collie, fulfilling <laughs> a dream he had since he was a little child to be an animal. Not a doctor, not an astronaut, Jimmy. So when you hear about, tell, is there a video of him or no? Of the dog? No, Jimmy, when you hear. Listen, he's no. brave. He's, he's very brave. brave. He's very brave. He's very. Like he, you know, I, I love I'm supposed to go along with this charade. He spent 13. I, he's brave. Another brave man. He's not a brave man who's living his truth yeah. and putting on a dog outfit and peeing on fire hydrants and humping the mailman's <laughs> leg. But the weird thing is, when he's humping the mailman's leg, he's thinking about his owner's leg. So he's just, <laughs> you know, but he's brave. See, he's when, brave. I, and when I see, when I read a story like that, 13 grand, and I, I should have said to tell you the video, the video, I mean, I'm not going to lie, Jimmy, it looks fucking real. Like, he sold it. He spent the money. Like, he, it wasn't a half ass job. I, they like, neuter him too? Me, a piece of me hopes, cool. though, Dodge. That a real, like a bull mastiff just runs up on him and really fucks him. Oh, doggy style. yeah. That, that would be just I, payback. I, I just, like dislocating his neck. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a man. I'm not a dog. I'm not a man. <laughs> oh, finally. Yeah, he's living his truth my ass. Yeah, but he's brave. Keep going. And it's funny because this next story. Uh, All these Jim, brave people out No, here. Jimmy, well, guess what? This next story. Flat falls, for me to live up to. Being this brave. falls into your, what, what you've been talking about towards the end. Uh, story number two. Uh, yesterday, Rachel Levine. You know who this beauty is? Uh, the U.S. Assistant Secretary of Health. You guys know oh, that? yeah. She's, she's uh, a smoke show. By the way, she, you're going to like gorgeous. her. Total Kelly, smoke you show. Do you saw, have a picture of her? She's gorgeous. Total smoke show. I have a video. Let's see. You have the video? Oh, yeah. So, so by the way, she, I, I refuse to call her Admiral because I'm not going to call her. She's oh, yeah. A, I see this woman. Oh, yeah, by the way, scary as <laughs> shit. Looks like the guy in the Quaker Oats box. Exactly that guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, my Admiral, yeah. you're not on the fucking ship. This isn't a war. And by the way, in an interview, she says prepubescent minors should have access to sex change surgeries because they might be going to the wrong puberty. Can you show the video? Because I want to hear Jimmy's take on this. Show the video. What would you say to folks who think that they're being reasonable by saying, why can't children just wait till they're 18? The adolescence is hard and puberty is hard. What if you're going through the wrong puberty? What if you inside feel that you are female, but now you're going through a male puberty? The that person is in charge of the... Ahead of the health you know department. Funny? You know what's funny? The less I listen to government <laughs> advice, yeah. the healthier I become. Oh. Repeat it with me as a mantra. The less Best I listen, listen to, to government, government advice, advice, the healthier I become. become. The less I listen to government and health advice, the healthier I become. Did everybody that's get your, that in the audience? Okay, so that's your Peter, mantra. Camilla, everybody, that's your Joey, mantra. Ilan, yep, Jorge, that's your did mantra. you hear that? Everybody in the booth, <laughs> don't yeah. listen to yes. the government, you Before asshole. you go to bed at night, go the less yes, I, I listen to the government, government health advice, the healthier I become. become. Okay. That should be everybody's prayer. Like, what do you, like, uh, uh, like and mind you, these are people that, mind you, the, the, the regular just brainwashed slaves, they listen to this fucking, this person's in charge. Well, I'm sorry that they do. Well, you could, sure. like, like, you know, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry you're, that you've been uh, so dumbed down, you know. Well, do that, you blame them, Jimmy, that they've, they've had no, they, like, me and you are awake. These people are just, they're in well, the dude, system. Well, dude, if you want to be dumb today, and I know the Kardashians make it look easy, but you really have to do some overtime, <laughs> because you can actually go on iTunes University, which is free, yeah. and sit in the back of economic classes that are given at Hale, Yale and Harvard. Yeah. You can, uh, there's, uh, there's, you read books online, there's free books available, listen audio to. Book. There's listen audio to books. Something. There's all kinds of uh, educational opportunities that, that you have to pay nothing for. So if you want to be dumb and be committed to dumb, 
Then God bless you, you know. Yeah. But God I, I, speed. I'm sorry. God speed. Good God luck. Speed. Good luck with that. All right. Uh, last story, Kelly. Um, Jim, I know you've been. I don't. I, I, oh God, I can't wait to hear your fucking point of view on this. Climate activists. Have you been seeing what these assholes are doing lately? Spraying. Uh, they sprayed some three hundred million dollar yacht with fucking paint. One other guy, like they, they throw shit on paint things. The newest one. This was a couple days ago. Yeah. Climate activists in Germany, also known as eco extremists. They super glued their hands to a runaway yeah. in protest, and they might have to amputate because they use industrial strength adhesive. But can you show, Kelly, is there a video on that one? Mm -hmm. Can you show the video? Look at these yeah. assholes. Jimmy, I'm so happy that they have to do this. Show, show their hands. Look at these, look at these assholes. Look. Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> Look, he's like, the fireman is like, we gotta cut off his fingers. You, look at that. You got it right, and you're surprised? Look at you. Jimmy, they gotta cut their fingers off. Hey, man. Is there another video to There's two more. Show, show the video. Jimmy, I want you to look. Let's what? show the videos. Look at these idiots. Look at these idiots at the airport. Look at these assholes. <laughs> look at this. I hope She's they stuck. like each she other. She has to chop off her fingers. I hope they like each other. Please, for uh, what, Lima. bitch? Lima. Like, what are you doing? The planes are still gonna take off. Holy Look, shit. holy shit. Yeah, you have to speak English. He stopped speaking German and he had to speak English. He goes, holy shit. Show the other one, too. Look at these assholes. Oh, is that? That's uh, the that's, trucks. Oh, the truck. Oh, yeah. And then Jimmy, once in a while, because this this drives me crazy. Once in a while, people, the, the, the public gets involved and they beat the shit, because they, they block traffic. Because mind you, if I'm- I've yeah. seen this, and this is a guy getting out of the truck today. I love so. this one. Show that one, Kelly. This is when, yeah, this is when the people are like, listen, you son of a bitch, I gotta go to work, but the girl, my favorite's coming up, because it's the female. Watch, he's like, listen, you wanna grab this asshole? You want help? Yeah, get your stupid ass out of the road. Get your, yeah, get in the bushes, climate boy. Look, 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 look. He's like, bitch, I gotta go to work. Oh, dude, I would beat the shit out of this person. Look, my favorite. Look at the German girl. Grab her oh. mother. <laughs> yes. Yes. She's like, bitch, I gotta go to work. I think I'm in love. Look at her. Get the fuck out of here. There you go. Bro, Get I would beat the shit out of him. There you go. Look. There's some people helping out. She's like, hold my vape. Whee. Get the hell out of there. Dude, yeah, I would oh drive over him. I would God. drive over him. Yeah, look. Okay, dude, I would not stop. Yeah, no, I would, dude. There Kelly, go. okay, here's there my question, wow, Jimmy. Like, oh, Kelly, pause annoying. it. Stop it. No, 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 here's my, now Jimmy. you're just gonna just have to knock them out so they can't get back well, Jimmy, up. Like a Jimmy, here's my question, to you, bro. What if you're in a car and God forbid you have to take somebody to the hospital and somebody's? I'm driving dude, over everybody. I would get out of the back with a baseball bat and cave all their skulls in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I would get in the war. I for would. Fucking, for wow. fucking, for, for, I would. Just removing. Wow. Look, look, look. The fa like how? Again, I love how people think. Like you know, the planet has been here for billions, billions of years. Yeah. As, as as well, you know. Uh, believe me, it's it's going to be here long after we're gone. So I, I these people like like. You know, everybody's doing their part. You know, what do you, what do you, what do I got to pick my own trash? I separate the plastics. I mean, all the stuff. It's, it's a giant con job. Uh, you know, the, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's funny. If, if climate change is real and the oceans are rising, then why are all these people buying uh, houses on the waterfront? Houses on the waterfront. Yeah. Yeah. It's all well, bullshit. You know, I, I, I mean, you and know, they use Greta Thunberg by money. They take out Greta Thunberg. Yeah, like another a, hero. Nantucket, Nantucket. Yeah. Uh, you know, Bill Gates just bought a place in La Jolla, California. Why would he do that? Right on the front vineyard. of the beach. I mean, if climate yeah. change is real, then why would you buy? A, you know, the, the fact that you know it's not real is because all these banks that speculate on all these properties yeah. would never give loans to these developers if climate change was real. By they the would water. never back the loan. So you think it's real. You're, you're, you've been conditioned and programmed, and you have no purpose in your own life. So you believe all this stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like being like uh, like one of these uh, deep like Christians who walk around quoting scripture all the time it, re it, it lines up with no self-identity mm -hmm. go live your life mind your own fucking business yeah. make make your carbon footprint as small as possible but you that's just that's what you get you play stupid games you get stupid prizes i love that i mean it's just it's just absolutely beyond i'm amazed at how dumb people are and it's like you know it's just it's amazing how stupid people could be hey, look, look, <laughs> Do you not have access to the same information we all do? They do. They do. I don't you know. Are you are you just choosing to believe what you want to believe because you live? You think life's supposed to be a fucking Walt Disney movie? It's a horrible, fucking scary fucking place the planet is, filled with people who do evil shit to one another all the fucking time. Watch one of those true crime shows. 
People just fucking, you know, they, 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 there's serial killers out there. There's, I mean, it's, <laughs> what, 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 what part of you don't get this? You live in, a plant, the planet's a hard fucking place to live, you know? There's, and you're eating people fucking are, plastic. People, people are fucking sick because they're eating plastic. People are fucking full of behavior, altering fucking psychotropic fucking medications. And, you know, I mean, it, it's just, you know. Good luck, Pete. Yeah. Good luck. L listen, and Jimmy, I'm telling you right now. Just good luck, everybody. And I want, I want to tell, like, thank, I, I, I'm thanking you because you, I think now, because we had this, this one-hour podcast, I mean, this show, it's not a podcast, we solve the world's problems. You woke yeah. up, I don't, th I don't think you realize how many people you just woke up to, because you don't, I, I, Jimmy, even if one stupid person was watching just accidentally, because a lot of smart people watch the show. Yeah. As long as one of them was like this right now, like holy shit. Well, the, well, they you, certainly you know, woke up all after hearing stuff, your voice. All the stuff, <laughs> all the stuff is researchable. I mean, go down a rabbit hole. We'll yeah. lead you to another rabbit hole and another rabbit Frankly, hole. And you start, once you Google start it. realizing that, that that the whole fucking thing is a matrix, it's a fucking it's a giant psyop you're living in, and you you you're when we're much more powerful beings than he led us on to believe. They they just want to. That's why you wear you know you gotta you know you're you're a powerful being, and, and, and but they do all this stuff to lower your vibration and calcify your pineal gland and all this stuff, and you just gotta go the fuck outside and take your shoes off and stand in the grass. Hug a tree. You know, for a tree, I absolutely hug a tree because well, it's, uh, it's all electrons. You know, but but yeah, it's all electrons. It really? charges you up. Yep. Get out of the shrinks office. Get off the fucking antidepressants. You know, stand in the, the sun. Best. Go stand in the sun. Go play in the ocean. Go go to a gym. Work out. You know, fucking eat whole foods, real foods. You know, and 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 and, and drink good water, spring water out of a glass. Stop bottle. masturbating in the sink. And like, stop get... fucking blowing your dicks yeah. down into a tissue of love and making you fucking like you because then you walk around with low T and you glue your hand to a pavement. Yeah. And you do a climate change. Yeah. And that's that's what you happens when you have low testosterone out yeah. in the wild. That's what low testosterone. <laughs> you sit in was front like, of trucks. Yeah, they sit in front of truck. <laughs> like, like, you know, like, 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 you know, I, you know, it's funny. Like, you know, some guy just pull out a sledgehammer, just bash your fucking skull in <laughs> like a watermelon at a Gallagher show. And I go, hi, I was just trying to yell. Well, now you're dead. Yeah. Now you're dead, and I hope you're happy. Yeah. Okay. Well, Play stupid games, get stupid prizes. stupid prizes. We'll be right back after these commercial <laughs> messages. You've been watching the Vinto Shotter Show. Right back after this commercial from Ty. <laughs> Which I stopped using a long time ago because I I'm don't, allergic. I make my own detergent now. Yeah. I make my own detergent. Oh, my God. All right, but listen, everybody, I appreciate you guys all. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, Jimmy, please tell everybody where they can find you. I know you said jimmyshubert.com. Uh, let them know. Hey. Where, Jimmy, where are you performing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll all. tell you. Here's where you can find me. Leave me the fuck alone, all right? <laughs> Don't fucking follow me on Instagram at Jimmy Schubert. Don't follow me on Twitter. I quit Yay. Twitter. I don't even play that game anymore. So much, so many hateful scumbags. You can follow me on my Facebook fan page, Jimmy Schubert. Don't go there. Don't leave me comments <laughs> on my otherwise brilliant fucking choices of comedy. Leave me the fuck alone. Get as far away from me as you can. Enjoy your lives. <laughs> You're not ready to hear this message, people. You're not ready to hear this message. Jump. It's still my favorite. Jimmy going, oh my God. I'm trying to just live peaceful. And then jump to Jimmy's like, you fuck. <laughs> but guys, I love you all. Take care of each fun. other. We'll be back next week. Peace and love. We're back. Come on, man. It's a comedy show. It's a comedy show. Yeah.